Quote from the book. This method shares a defined percentage of sales revenue with the supplier. This makes sense, especially in cases where a bought in part contributes significantly to the overall perception of a product. In this video, we will take a look at the App Store to understand the dynamics of revenue sharing. And we will speculate how car makers could adopt this method once they get the act together when it comes to software updates. Let's get started. You may not remember this, but in 2007, the first gen iPhone launched without an App Store. Originally, Steve Jobs was not too keen on having an App Store at all. He was concerned that poor quality apps from third parties may damage the reputation of the iPhone. But he listened to his people and in March 2008, together with the iPhone 3G, he launched the App Store. So, you're a developer and you've just spent two weeks or maybe a little bit longer writing this amazing app and what is your dream? Your dream is to get it in front of every iPhone user. And uh, the App Store is going to be the exclusive way to distribute iPhone applications directly to every iPhone user. Today, the App Store has 1 billion users. Apple lumps together the money it makes from the App Store together with its overall services revenue. So it is a bit hard to break out the App Store. But CNBC believes that the App Store on its own accounts for a revenue of $64 billion in 2020. And data from the EPIC trial suggests that the App Store operates at a profit margin of 78%. Apple takes a 30% cut from developers with an annual revenue greater than 1 million and 15% from everyone else. And while all this revenue stream is certainly great for Apple's financials, it only tells half the story. There are more than 2 million apps available in the App Store, and these apps cover everything an iPhone user could wish for, with categories ranging from productivity to entertainment, health and fitness. And combined, all of these apps allow a user to customize the iPhone exactly to their specific needs and use cases. This abundance of apps keeps the iPhone fresh and attractive and allows Apple to sell about 200 million iPhones per year and make it the most important product category by wide margin. Apple's App Store has inspired other tech players like Google and Amazon to launch similar stores. But so far, the automotive industry has not yet embraced this concept. Yes, Tesla allows owners to upgrade their cars after the initial purchase. For example, for $2,000 I could buy an acceleration boost for my dual motor Model 3 and that would unlock an extra 50 horsepower in the powertrain and shorten 0 to 60 from 4.2 seconds to 3.9 seconds. But even Tesla does not yet have any third parties, also known as suppliers, on their platform. So let's jointly imagine a what-if scenario for all the user-facing functions of a future car. The car maker invites key suppliers to provide modules and these modules come with the highest possible specification. But when a customer orders the base model of a car, these models are locked in their base specification. And the suppliers only paid the cost to provide these modules. Over the service life of the car, the owner can unlock features. And every time this happens, the supplier gets a fair share of the additional revenue. And this can go even further. Suppliers would have the opportunity to further develop the software in order to make upgrading more attractive for users and they could use all kinds of social media channels for raising awareness with users. So there you have it, purchasing chessboard method F8 revenue sharing. A smart way to harness the creativity of your suppliers to make your platform or product even more attractive. Okay, now it is your turn. Do you see opportunities to integrate revenue sharing in your product and service offering? And who would need to be brought on board in order to make this happen? Let me know in the comments down below if you have any question and I promise to get back with you in 24 hours. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.